Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. Today in this video, I will show you how to calculate age based on the date of birth. So let's get started. If you are creating any kind of registration form, having the fields like date of birth, age is very very common thing. The user will enter the date of birth and we need to calculate age based on the date of birth. We should not allow the user to enter the age manually. That's a bad idea. We should calculate it based on the date of birth. So today in this video, let's find out how to achieve that. First, let's create a HTML page inside this jQuery workspace. I'm going to call this jQuery age calculator. First, let's include all the HTML boilerplate code. We will make use of jQuery to achieve this. Yes, we will be using a jQuery date picker to select the date of birth. As soon as the user select the date of birth, we need to calculate the age and display it in a text box. So the first step is to include three libraries to our HTML web page. So the first step, the first library is jQuery core library and the second library is jQuery UI.CSS and the jQuery UI.JS because we are going to use a jQuery date picker we need a jQuery UI plugin as well so let's include all those libraries in our HTML web page I have already downloaded the plugins and included in our directory so jQuery UI.CSS jQuery UI.JS and the jQuery.JS which is our core library so let's include these libraries in our HTML web page. jQuery.js which is our jQuery core library. jQuery UI.CSS and the last one is jQuery UI.js. Inside the body, create a two text box. Input. I'm going to give an ID to this text box so later we can target this text box using a jQuery. Let me put a break lines. I'll create a one more text box and I'm gonna give an ID as age so inside the head tag include a script tag I'm going to call a ready function So inside this, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call this age and I'll set a empty string. So inside this, I'm going to target the first text box and I'll call a date picker method. We're going to call or we are going to use a on select property and call a function. To this function we will be passed two values the first parameter is a value and the second parameter is the widget that is the date picker ui so inside this we are going to create a date object to get the current date i'm gonna call this today new date this will gives us the today's date and now age is equal to we will extract the year from this today's date today dot I'm gonna call a get full year method this will give us the year minus UI dot selected year this will give us the year that whatever we have selected from the jQuery date picker UI or this 
jQuery date picker widget and I'm going to set this age to this text box so dollar dot I'm gonna use a val method to set the value save this and uh, we are going to use the uh, two more properties that is change month this will allow us to change the month in our date picker widget I'm gonna set this true change year I'm gonna set this as true save this and go to the directory that where you have created your file open the file in a browser click on the first text box this will give us the nice jquery date picker let's choose my date of birth so i'll select the year and uh, i was born in 1992 and uh, may 31st at the time of this recording the current date is 4 7 2018 so exactly i'm a 26 years old so let's see what it will give there you go let's verify this with a one more date of birth so i'm gonna choose 2000 so as i said at the time of this recording the current year is 2018 so it's exact exactly 18 years difference there you go right now the user can edit this text box so i'm gonna set a read only property this this text box save this reload the web page enter a date of birth i'm gonna choose 2010 july 14th and the age is 8 and right now the user not able to edit this text box or unable to enter the values manually so this is how you can calculate age based on the date of birth i hope this video is helped you in one or the other way if you have any questions leave your questions in the comment section i will try to answer your questions if you are looking for a source code for this video under this video in the description section i provided a link to the article for this video you can go ahead and check out the article and in case if you are uh, want to copy the code you can copy the code that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video